Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Anger Cast. We got it going. It's it's starting. It's happening. <laughs> We're getting it going. Uh, phase three of the space pro uh, the space elevator. I've got. I gotta get one more component. I'm gonna get rubber uh, to do the modular engines, and I need uh, to turn everything on. So I've got all the stuff set up here. So there's 15 rubber. We got, let's see here, 15, one modular engine, one makes 15, so 15 times 500. 15 times 500. We need 7,500. 7,500. And at the 200 in a stack. So, oops. 7,500 divided by 200 equals 37 stacks, so I need it. I need a in a uh, watch we call it in a half so let's I'm gonna have to get <laughs> this 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 is a mess I don't care I don't care I really don't um, I need to get enough of that I'm, it's gonna take two trips to do it and I'll do a couple of it offline but I want to do we do need to walk over there and show you everything um, that we've been doing so let me get us over to where the oil production is at so we can get the rubber. Okay, we got everybody, everything heading and doing what it's doing. All of our components are going. I think I have enough. If not, I have plenty of backup stuff. Um, if I didn't calculate uh, containers correctly, I just want to get this started so we can go look at other stuff while this is being done. So let's... Uh, I gotta go grab some other stuff, but uh, for the most part, we can just do this. This will... This will be on its own thing. So let's start feeding in the rest of the... Whoa! This is... I gotta go get iron plates. <laughs> I don't have the iron plates. Shit. Place now when we've got... Um, we <laughs> we've got uh, Mark IV belts at the moment. So, yeah. Let's take them in. There we go. Zing! Watch them go up. Alright, turn on the, uh... Turn on this sucker. It's gonna take a while. For that to run. As it loads everything in. And this is gonna take a while. But I probably can also replace these. A little faster, and this sucker is going to then take its time, because this is going to do now do one per minute. One per minute, so I got what two minutes to do two times uh, two. Oh god, that's a lot of time. That's actually a lot of time. Um, I may overclock these, um, get them up because now this is going to do one per minute. I need 500 of these, 500 minutes. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, it's a bit of a long time. It's gonna take a while, and it'll do it offline. But uh, at the we will you know record to the completion of the uh, elevator. But while that's happening, let's go take another look at some things here. I'm gonna go back, go back and retrieve some stuff and show you what we have been doing um, with the you know because I still have to overclock those and make them go faster. Well, there's a reason why I, I feel confident in overclocking at this point, and I'll show you why. As you can see, now we've got. I mean, my gosh, we're already... We just need a thousand more of uh, those things cooking along on the, uh... uh watch me call it. The, uh, framework. Versatile framework. Um, I still have some issues over here with some power. Uh, that's because this coal, even though I've, I've, I've bumped it up to a Mark II coal miner up on the top of the ridge up there, it still has a lot to cover for all of these, you know, for this this section. Um, I'm going to bump it up, I think, to a Mark III miner once it's available to me. It hasn't become available to me yet, because we have to, have to feel... We have to finish the, the space elevator and then open up Tier 7 and 8. However, I don't really care what's happening over there right now, because, um, yeah, look at our power. <laughs> our maximum consumption might be 2,400, but our production 
and capacity is up over 4,500, almost to 5,000. Um, are, are we're not going to run out of power anytime soon, and the reason is, is like, like so we've been adding, I have the, you know, all of this here, coal power, all that coal power. We've seen the geysers, the two geysers we have up on top of the ridge there. They're providing 600, um, 600 megawatts from geothermal, and then I've also got um, this geyser over here with just one, just add into the grid, just for the shit, you know, just for, for, for the hell of it, not really for anything big, but it's providing another, um, you know, 600 watts, um, as it can, so it, it's, it's providing us with plenty of power when we need it. Um, I mean, I've got all this fuel, and which we, um, I'm going to have to redo all this and, and, and clean this up because this is no longer running anymore because we shut the power or shut the oil off from these refineries in order to take it down over the hill to show you why we are in good, such good shape at this point. Um, I, I, like I said, I want to clean all this stuff up and re relocate it. Um, there's another refinery, there's another oil um, deposit down over the, the, the backside of that hill over there that I might use for production um, of the plastic and the everything else but now we're just using that to make fuel and as a byproduct polymer resin which we are sinking into this monstrosity over here which is oil refineries producing fuel so we're taking in crude oil taking in crude oil and producing fuel with a byproduct of polymer resin and we're using that recipe because otherwise we would need to have um, Residual fuel, or what's it with the um, what is the byproduct? Of, I don't want to. I don't want to click on anything. But uh, residual fuel, I think, or heavy oil residue. Heavy oil residue is the purple stuff, and it's a byproduct we could use then to make more. But I have oh, it's steamy. It's getting me all steamed up. Whew. But it, look at this mess. We got five of these refineries producing fuel and throwing off polymer resin, which we're sinking down at the end. Down at the end, which is really going to up... We're going to be doing some more stuff here in a bit. But we're sinking all that. And look, we got 96 coupons that we're going to be turning in here real soon. Uh, but more often than that, we are producing... Uh, we've got, what? One, two, three, four, five, six... Two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, 14 uh, fuel generators, which has helped add to the power grid tremendously because they are producing, uh, yeah, a uh, good about a, you know, good amount. And there you can see that's why we have so much on the grid for that. So this is all, and this is, of course, this is Total Eclipse here. Uh, his his design, um, this, but you know this is not this is good for now. We could do better at, at some point, and we're going to be doing that with the use of blueprints at some point. Not yet, not yet, but we're going to get there. So yeah, I need to I need to replace the Mark II miner up there with the Mark III miner. Um, these are running pretty good. This side's pretty decent. I got them all on Mark IV um, belts and conveyors and these are mark twos once we get mark threes we will produce those because we will have i mean you know what it would take to run a mark three miner we are bathing in power as far as we what we need so that's good there and i still need to fix this issue i don't know why it's such an issue was it was such a perfect situation as happening before i don't know what happened and why our but I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not too worried about it at this point. Oh, jeez. We're flipping around. Um, so let's get back over and start talking about what we're going to do next. Because we have got a little bit of time before we uh, can can call it a, a, you know, completion on the uh, space elevator. So that'll give us some, some breathing room to do other stuff. The probably more prudent thing to have done is to set up multiple manufacturers doing this so that instead of producing just two 
and a half per minute with the fully overclocked to 250 percent I would be like you know three or four or five or whatever the entire row of them um, yeah I just don't care enough to do that but now I mean well you know it's gonna become an unintendable situation as we get into phase uh, four of the space elevator it's gonna become ridiculous what we have to build and it's gonna involve these components as well so that we may have to come up with that and we will um, like I said, we, we've pretty much solved our power problems for now. The next thing I think is nuclear, which, eh, you know, okay, it's going to be fun. Um, and then, because we have, the last thing we have, you know, the uh, sulfur, we've got to undo, you know, we got to do uranium mm -hmm, for, for that stuff, which will open up that. But these other ones will as well, and I think I'm going to open up this one, which means I have to get a refinery going to make smokeless powder. Because that is, um, you know, and that'll be a, a we can we can set that up and have some more either more fuel come off of that or other things. Um, but for the moment, let's go um, let's go let's go print out some tickets. Why not? It's like freaking Chuck E. Cheese over this place. Let's go print out some tickets. This is the first time we're actually really we had some tickets I think early on, but we haven't really unplugged anything else. Um, so <laughs> woohoo! Let's do it. Yeah, look at that. Look what we got. Look what we got. 96 tickets. Wow. Um, that's that's amazing. Um, this is just thinking everything I can, extra stuff. You know, like I was going over and I had to dump the fuel and the heavy oil residue from the refineries because I needed to get rid of the, you know, the backflow of, of all that liquid in order to keep producing the solids. Um, but the um, screw line... Is just producing mad not mad amount of screws, so I've got them going into a sink. I've got the iron rods that are just you know, I've got five things of them. That's what's produced in the sink. I've got every so often I can turn on iron plating, and up on the ridge I've got four um, reinforced iron plating. So I've got sinks all about, and again it's going to become exponentially harder for me to collect those just with what I have, but I can produce things. I can set up an entire factory to set, to just produce something to go into the sink, which it won't really matter, because I think we've got pretty much what we need uh, with this 96 tickets. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely want to do the signs. Um, all this stuff here is going to be kind of neat. I don't really care about these skinned boxes, but, yeah, we do want to get uh, um, all this stuff for um, I don't care about the clean pipelines or the, uh, or the attachments and all that. Definitely want to do wall pl uh, uh, this, you know, add the cart. Can I go back? Come on, back. Give me back here. Add these to the cart. Add, add all these to the cart. Alright. Um, conveyor. Yeah, definitely want to add that to the cart. Uh, conveyor wall mount. Hmm. It's aesthetic. It has nothing really... Do well, it, it kind of does because I hate having to put those stackable ones and doing it from the ceiling of, of a building would be... So, yeah, it's, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, we'll add that in there. Not too worried about hypertube stuff yet. We can always come back to that. All right, foundations. This is where, the, this is where we're going to get the most bang for our buck, I think, with walls and such. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm not too caring about these at the moment, but the walls, we definitely want the walls. Door walls, add that to the cart. Um, windowed walls, add that to the cart. Uh, what else we got? Uh, gates, sure, why not? <laughs> Steel frame windows, yeah, please, let's do it. Conveyor walls, um, do I already have that in the cart? Conveyor walls? I don't have conveyor walls yet. Okay. Conveyor walls. Let's add that to the cart. Um, architecture. Definitely want the road barrier, because that's going to help you get the um, halvesies that we were talking about, that people have talked about before. Uh, there's railings and railings. Sure. Add those railings. Why not? We can, and like I said, we can always add stairs. Sure. Modern catwalks and ladders. Factory ladder, sure. Uh, let's see here. Modern catwalks, sure. All right. Industrial walkways. Not really worried about that at this moment. Customizer. Hmm. Concrete. 
Concrete foundation. Concrete. Coated concrete. Ooh, this is kind of neat. Um, let's come back to those. Let's come back to this. Oh, we already got the cart. We got the boom box. I found another tape. I'm not going to buy any more tapes. I found another tape. I got to go ahead and get. Yeah, we did get parachutes. I got gas filters. I got that. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll save that for this moment. We could also buy these parts as well. And then there's all this stuff. Is, uh, you know, don't care about any of that. We're not going to actually do that. But let's go back to the beginning here and get the signs because I want to do that for the organization. And we can have our we can then have our our named places. Get some street lighting in there. Sure, why not? And indoor lighting, yeah, well, that'd be nice. Um, all that stuff requires power, though, you know. That require uh, if I got any. Okay, let me get. I don't have any duplicates here. Um, let's grab some more things. I got six. I think I got sixty-eight. That, that, because we can always customize these suckers with different colors. Uh, concrete pillar set, sure. Structural beam, sure. Metal pillar, sure. Roof, sure. Corners, sure. Hmm. Hmm. I actually had another 17 I didn't think I had. So I got 113 tickets altogether. Or coupons. But I need to... I want to get some stuff here. I don't necessarily worry about this stuff for now. But I definitely want this. So what did I say? I had 97, so I've got 113. So I've got three... I got 13 more. 13 more. Hmm. Asphalt. Grip. Metal. Coated concrete. Let's get coated concrete. Let's get grip metal. That'll take us to 108. We got five more. And Pat, we're going to put the rest on a gift card. <laughs> Y'all remember the old uh, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, let's do the steel wall. How about that? There we go. That's, that gets us 113. Let's buy it all. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. The things we purchased. We went crazy. We went crazy. Craziness. And now we can build factories with the blueprints and have walls and such. And so uh, what I want to do is take all of these concepts and stack them. Like this whole entire thing here, this, this entire platform takes up too much space. But, but what if I stacked it? So I could make, you know, two by two or three by, uh, you know, there's there's one, two, three, four. These four here, uh, and uh, we could do this. We could attach this in the, on, on the one end and then have all the insides on multiple floors doing all the constructing and, and condense it into a four by four by four grid, which is 30, like I think you're 32 by 32 by 32, if you think about it. Um, but we have here, so, you know, we can start to do that. Now I do have, I do have two so far that I've just started out because I'm just playing around with them. I haven't really got that far down the road because I got to figure all this out. I can also go and download them too and then add them into my file saves if I find some cool ones, which I might do. I might do because I'm not that smart. I don't know how I can figure this all stuff out on my own. No. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm headed. But, I mean, look at all this. And then, you know, an entire warehouse. Just, I need to do an entire um, storage blueprint, like a, a storage device. You know, just all the, all the belts and everything all structurally put together in here. And then I can just repeat it and, cut, you know, plop it down next to each other. And then have an entire warehouse for all my stuff. Because my grand vision of, of what we're going to do requires me to have that. So, all right. Let's take a little break here. Um, we'll come back in a mo minute and see how we're doing with everything else. All right, we got everything almost done. Left to do. One left to make. We got a plenty more where that came from. I'm gonna have to build more, of course, uh, for the next level. Come on. Let's. Uh, there it is. That's it. All right, phase three is complete. Oh boy, let's go take care of it. Load. 
<coughs> Seal. Send. Boom! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually did it. This, I, this was a long time coming. Go! Launch, mother trucker! Bye-bye! Alright, now. Oh boy. What is the, what, what do we got to build now? Nuclear pasta. We're going to do a, a thousand of those. A thousand thermal propulsion rocket. Four thousand magnetic field generators and 4,000 assembly director systems. I have no idea how... We have to probably have to unlock those. We have, we have no way of building those just yet. Uh, but that means we got now tier eight, 7 and 8 open in the hub. So now we've got bauxite. Bauxite. And we have all these things here. We can, we'll do that. We're going to do that next time. I can... This is a new one. Alcad aluminum sheet, which we will... Alclad. Or Alcad or Alclad? I'm glad, yeah. Which bauxite will make uh, aluminum. And then hazmat suit, which there's more aluminum, and those. Yep, yep, yep. And then we started getting into radio control units and all that stuff. And then the hover pack, which is. Oh, that's what people use. It's not the, it's not the jet pack, it's the hover pack. Oh, well, isn't that wonderful? Wonderful about that. Okay, cool. So, yeah. That's tier seven, tier eight. Nuclear power starts. Boy, we we'll get uh, we can we can build that too. Uh, so we can do the first two. Oh my gosh, fuse modular form. We can do the first two. Uh, it's tier seven bauxite refinement and tier eight nuclear power. Those are the first two we can do, and we're probably going to do those. Uh, we're going to begin working on those, and I'm going to start cleaning up some of this stuff and move it about and try to figure out what we want to do with ourselves because we got a we got a lot more happening this is a mess as it is right now and look at the shit oh my gosh the amount of stuff we've done clean it up and go somewhere else or just go somewhere else and use this as the the seed for it i think that's going to be the case but i don't know where we're going to go yet we have plenty of places we need to build some more radio towers because we radio towers do this for you they show you where everything's at no more doing this you know this stuff here right right yeah so, we won't have to do that anymore. But that's it for now. Uh, that's been awesome. We're the last, the last, the last bit, the last push for everything. And it's going to be the longest one. So, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you.